This is a Toyota Igo with one big problem. It won't start. Christmas lights on the dash and faults from all the control units. Welcome to the life of a mobile mechanic. Today, I'm going to show you how to save time and maximize your profits with this insanely efficient technique for replacing an alternator and also a battery. And good morning, everyone. Here we are. So in for a Toyota Aiga alternator. As you know, this part is very tight here. So I had no choice but to remove the mount so that I can just push it around like that and get more space, lift the engine up a little bit so that we can squeeze that in. But yeah, this is where we are. With this technique, I don't need to remove the front bumper. It's super easy and all I'm really doing is shuffling it around into the correct place to be secured. So that's one bolt in, just this one here. You can see right there, that bolt would just compress in on its own and tighten up the alternator once everything is in. There we go. So I don't know if you can see it where my finger is at, at the moment there. That bolt and that bolt needs to go back in as well. And then after that, we're gonna be putting the tensioner in, which is this bolt over here. So those bolts are in. And now as you can see, it's freely swinging, look. Because we have to put the uh, tensioner back in. All right, so that's us done. We have put the new alternator back in. Obviously, it's the right tension in there as well. By adjusting that tensioner right over there. Make sure that that's torqued up correctly because otherwise what's going to happen is you're going to over torque it, bend this, and then what's after that is basically this belt breaking. So yeah, make sure that you do everything right. That's torqued up as well. And the mount is back on. Now the next thing to do is to replace the battery. I've swapped out this old battery with a brand new top quality Varta battery. Every professional knows that line battery isn't the best. So here we are showcasing what the customer deserves. A quality part for their pride and joy. And there you have it, new alternator and a happy new battery. I would rate that job, I would say difficulty. If you have the technique, probably about four out of 10. If you don't have the technique, 10 out of 10. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it's all done. Now it's just time to turn it on. Battery light is off. Happy days. There you go, happy customer. No more battery light on the dash. He reported that it was all flashing all on his face, ABS, battery light, everything that was like blinking on his face. So yeah, I'm happy that all is sorted for the customer now. And that's how it's done guys. I've given a 5 star service in a smidge of the time and the customer is over the moon. Thank you for watching, please like, hit that subscribe button and drop a comment. See you in the next one. Peace.